The problem for the Johnson administration was how to achieve success in Vietnam as the situation in the country continued to deteriorate. By 1963, the Viet Cong men numbered 23,000. Johnson told his military that he would do everything he could to prevent a Viet Cong victory, but was unsure what action to take. Initially, he authorised covert operations against North Vietnam, including intelligence gathering. But still the news remained bleak, as US military intelligence reported in March 1964 that the Viet Cong controlled between 40 and 45 percent of the South Vietnamese countryside, and the size of their force had grown to around 60,000. At the start of August 1964, an incident off the coast of North Vietnam led to a further US involvement in Vietnam. On 2nd of August, North Vietnamese torpedo boats attacked a US destroyer on patrol in the Gulf of Tonkin. A second destroyer was dispatched to the area to support, in a supporting role, and on the 4th of August, a second attack by North Vietnamese gunboats happened, and the US destroyers returned fire. Johnson ordered immediate airstrikes against North Vietnamese naval installations in retaliation for what he claimed was open aggression on the high seas. On 7th of August, Johnson was given permission by Congress to attack in the future if a similar incident happened. This is called the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution, which stated, supports deter the determination of the President as Commander-in-Chief to take all necessary measures to repel any armed attack against the forces of the United States and to prevent further aggression. In short, the President was given advanced advice and sanctions to bomb North Vietnam, Vietnam and defend South Vietnam with US forces if it were deemed necessary. The action that Johnson had taken in response to the Gulf of Tonkin incident made him look strong to the ordinary people in America. Johnson's approval rating rose from 42 to 72 percent before the presidential elections of 1964. When the election took place on November the 3rd, 1964, Johnson won the election, gaining 61 percent of the vote. There can be no doubt that Johnson gained popularity by seeming tough on the Gulf of Tonkin incident. By the autumn of 1964, the consensus within the US government was in favour of launching an air war against North Vietnam. Johnson wanted to wait before committing US ground forces. He knew that once, the Viet once in Vietnam, their numbers would rise quickly. He needed something to force his hand. The moment of decision for Johnson arrived on February 7, 1965, when an air base at Ply Cue was attacked by the Viet Cong and nine American soldiers were killed and 130 wounded and five aircraft destroyed. Johnson authorised immediate retaliatory raids against the North, Operation Flaming Dart. His advisers insisted it was not enough. On the 12th of February, Johnson approved the sustained bombing of North Vietnam, Operation Rolling Thunder. On 2nd of March, Rolling Thunder commenced. The aim was to bomb key positions in North Vietnam in order to cripple its economy and make it difficult for it to supply the Viet Cong. Rolling Thunder was supposed to last for eight weeks, but lasted three years, from March 65 to November 68. Over one million tons of bombs were dropped on Vietnam. 